So I heard you want to talk about options. Psh, options. Really? Options? You want to talk about options? Okay. I enjoy talking about options because it's something that everybody wants to play with and nobody has a clue about what they actually do or how to use them. So they get burnt over and over again. And then you got all these gurus telling people you could make a thousand percent overnight using options. So today is the beginning of our new series. I know we got a lot of series, sis, series. But this one, we're gonna break down options and we're gonna break down the tactics that these gurus use to confuse people so that you don't get confused and none of your friends get confused. And so you'll know more about these things. So maybe you do wanna trade them seriously. Let's jump into it. Now to help us, we're gonna use this fantastic article from Macarops, The Misconceptions and Pitfalls of Options Trading. This was written by my buddy Tyler. I actually remember editing it. Now I'm decent with options, I'm okay, but Tyler is an expert, straight up pro. So whenever I'm trying to think through some option stuff, you know, I always go to him. And he wrote this article, so let's see what he has to say. Now, the first thing you need to understand is that there are very few winners in the options market because options are a zero sum game. So if one person is winning, then the other person is losing because options, they're a contract, right? Both people aren't winning in the end. They're taking different sides of the contract. First, you've got the highly efficient market makers. And these are the guys that set market prices through their expertise in the Black-Scholes model used to derive an options price. So they win in the long term by controlling risk and collecting the difference in the bid ask spread. In exchange, they provide market liquidity. So market makers are like a structural part of the options market, right? And they're a consistent function that continues to make money. Just like the brokerage houses that are allowing people to trade. They skim a cut off of every trade. And you know, these option commissions can be pretty high. So they make out pretty damn well. But again, they're another pillar of the options market. They're the structure that makes it work. And then finally, you have the sharps or the professional option traders that squeeze out a profit over time. Now their strategy is the hardest to operate because these are guys actually in the pits making the trades and trying to come out ahead. They aren't rewarded for providing order facilitation services like the other two. Instead, they got to eat what they kill. So over the long haul, they could get as rich as the other two, but only if they do really well and size up their strategy or attract outside money. So those are the three types of winners. Two of them are just structural to make the markets work. And one of them is the professional options guys. So like we said though, options is a zero sum game. So where is this money coming from? Well, it comes from the people we call the suckers. And the suckers are the retail people who get attracted to the options market because they see something with limited downside and unlimited upside. And this is where the gurus say, yeah, a thousand percent overnight. And they attract these guys because logically, okay, yeah, maybe it makes sense if you know how an option works. And they think, okay, if Apple's going up, instead of just buying stock, I could buy an option and I'm gonna make a lot more money. But no, it's way more complicated than that when you get into the options market. And the issue isn't that you can't be successful trading options, you absolutely can. In fact, you probably heard me talk about the NASDAQ all-star system, which has an option strategy that works pretty well, works really well, actually. And the reason it works well is because it understands the options market really well and combines it with momentum to make a profit, which we'll explain a little bit later, either in this video or in this series. But the point is, is that it's taking advantage of the structural nature of those options. But if you don't understand options, then you're never going to be able to do that. And that's why most of these retail guys are losing because they just don't understand it. You know, seems easy, but it's actually really complicated. So one of the big misconceptions about options is that they could produce these thousand percent returns for your account. Yes, technically they can, but practically that's not how it works out. So like Tyler says, it's true that options can 5x, 10x, or even 100x in extreme situations, but these events are rare. And when they do occur, you need impeccable timing on both your entry and exit to realize gains of that magnitude. You have gotta be sniping perfectly. That's what those sharps do, or the professional options traders. It's not easy at all. And the options that can earn huge returns are the out of money options. So they have a strike price higher than the underlying for calls or lower than the underlying for puts. So the strike price is just the price at which you can exercise the option. So let's review this real quick. A call is the right to buy shares. So if you buy an Apple call at 170 strike price, that means you're buying the right to buy 100 shares of Apple at $170. Now, why would you wanna buy that right? Well, you would buy it if you thought Apple was going over 170. So if Apple hits $180 and you have that contract, well, you could buy it at 170 and then sell it at 180. You made 10 bucks, right? So that's a call. And then a put is the same thing except the opposite. So a put, when you buy it, it's the right to sell. So say you buy a put with a strike price of 180 for Apple again. Now, if Apple drops down to 170, you have the right to sell it at that 180. So again, you make 10 bucks. So get it? 
calls and puts they're just opposites so when tyler's talking about out of money options here he's talking about an option with a strike price that is far away from the current price so you can see an example of an options chain right here it's kind of hard to see but this is how it looks on thinkorswim now on the left side you got the calls and on the right side you got the puts so every option in the blue is considered in the money and every option in the black is considered out of the money so as of this screenshot apple's actual price is 97.40 which is right around here so if we're looking at the call side anything below that 9740 is in the money so if you had a call for apple at 80 you could basically buy those shares for 80 a piece and you could turn around and flip them for that 9740 where it is right now and you would make that profit now we could zoom in on the puts and you can see that they're pretty cheap Here's how much they cost. So like we said, Apple is at 197 for these numbers, right? So this is saying you can buy a put at 85 for just 19 cents. And the reason it's so cheap is because 85 is pretty far away from 97, especially for something like Apple to fall that much, the chances are low. And it actually tells you the chance of that happening right here, less than 7%. So Tyler explains it here. The marketer's pitch of a thousand percent returns on these options isn't false. It's just unlikely. The options at 10X, like the 85 put in Apple, they can actually go from that 20 cents we just saw to two dollars but the probability is extremely low like we just mentioned the options market is only pricing a six percent chance of that option making any money at all by expiring in the money but to get that 10x return that these gurus promise you not only need the option to expire in the money and by in the money we mean that that option would expire right at that 85 level so you'd be break even, not even factoring in the cost of buying the thing. Because if you factor in how much you paid to buy it, you would need that option to expire $2 in the money. So that would require Apple to close at $83 by expiration. And that's just to break even. So all in all, for you to not even make money on that option, just to break even, Apple would have to fall from $97.14 to $83. That's a drop of almost 15% in Apple. That doesn't happen often. And it all has to be done within the next 30 days because the option expires. So trying to hit that scenario that perfect scenario the percentage is only six percent it's really tough you're dealing with a lot of factors and we haven't even talked about volatility or anything yet we'll do that later in the series and here your guru might say that he knows apple is going to fall by that much in the next 30 days and that option will definitely finish up 900 percent and some people having trust in that guru do load up their account because of it but think about this if a guru could predict a 10x move in an option with 100 percent accuracy he would not be telling you about it because think about the math even if he started with just ten thousand dollars he would be a billionaire in just five trades if what he was saying he could do is true and Tyler does the math right here 10,000 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 oh billion dollars amazing and Tyler says I mean forget about the 100% accuracy even if he had 50% accuracy he would be a god in the market see a persistent 5% edge in the markets is big enough anything larger is huge like you're really good if you have that 5% edge because remember there's billion dollar casinos that make money on just a 1 to 2% edge at the gambling tables so if you're playing Playing for a 10x play like these gurus tell you you would need to be right 10% of the time to break even so say you got $10 betting a dollar each time you could lose $1 nine times and on the tenth dollar win nine dollars so you would break even and that means that 10% hit rate you had would give you a 0% edge because you come out with nothing so professional traders would love to get a 5 to 10% edge and to get that edge you need a 15 to 20% hit rate on options going 10x and thinking that any guru has that is just fooling yourself there's a reason that these out of the money options are called lotto options but here's the other problem say your guru that you're following is actually pretty good and say as tyler says here that he hits a 10x winner about 20 percent of the time which is great that's amazing right but the problem is that the way he's marketing that makes people start to think that they could 10x their account in just one trade and this is a huge trap that new traders fall for because his win rate is only 20 percent of getting it right so when he's wrong you end up losing everything right but new traders don't understand this and they end up putting all their money into whatever he recommends thinking he's going to hit that 10x and if you put all your money into one trade every time there is a hundred percent chance that you're going to go broke like tyler says if it doesn't happen this trade it'll happen on the next one you've got to think of trading as a long-term process true wealth is gained off of compounding not just a single options play so when these marketing gurus tout a thousand percent returns that's just on one trade it's not your entire account so tyler explains like if you follow sound position sizing mechanics and put one percent of your account into the guru's pick 
and get your 10x, then your total account would only be up by 10%. Now, your whole account going up by 10% is pretty great, especially if you only risk 1% to do it. But it's very different than you thinking that you could make 10x on your entire account. But okay, hopefully that helped clear a few things up. And we're going to get deeper into this in the following videos. But if you want to jump ahead, then you could check out this options trading report that Tyler put together. It's a free report. It's really, really solid. It teaches you the real stuff that you need to know about options to be able to trade them. And it's advanced stuff, but he breaks it down really well. I remember I edited this thing too. So it really clears up a lot of the stuff that if you're trying to find it on the internet, it gets real super complicated. So this is a free report. Um, I'll put a link to download it in the video and down below on the comments and description. Just go to that page, enter your email so I know where to send it. Sign up, start reading. This is important stuff, especially if you're trading options. And if you want to see more options videos, because this is going to be a whole series, then subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you get an email when the new video comes out. We publish videos every day, so the next options video will be out soon. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Stay foulable out there. Bye.